Their feelings run from deep sorrow to rage. The family of a woman killed by a drunk driver sharing those feelings during the trial of the man who was convicted of intoxication manslaughter in that woman's death. Paul Venema there for her son's emotional testimony during the punishment phase of Caleb Fajardo's trial. <laughs> Javier Sandoval breaks down, his emotions still raw as prosecutors show him a picture of his mother, 61-year-old Silvana Sandoval. That smile will stay with me as what I remember the most about my mom, because that, that's my mom. His mother was critically injured when her minivan was hit broadside by a pickup driven by Caleb Fajardo. He was drunk and speeding, his blood alcohol level and speed both over the legal limits. Sandoval died two days after the crash. Her son, after consulting with family members, made the decision to remove her from life support. That was by far the hardest decision I had to make at that at that point in my life and still is. His younger brother, too, devastated by their mother's death and angry. Yeah, it's filled me with a lot of rage, honestly, um, because I feel like this could have been, uh, this could have never happened, this should not happen. Things turn from emotional to clinical following the family's testimony. Prosecutors called alcohol monitoring experts and Fajardo's probation officer to the witness stand. I was constantly calling the, the uh, defense attorney's office trying to get him in. Um, he kind of worked on his own time. I could never get him in on the, the exact day that he was told to report. Since the wreck, Fajardo had also tested positive for alcohol use at least five times. One time above the legal limit. Paul Venema, KSAT 12 News. Closing arguments in this case begin tomorrow morning. Fajardo is facing up to 20 years in prison.